Well, the other interesting fact, Steph, is we've been going back and forth, growth over value, growth over value. They're all kind of working today and, and for this entire week. Energy is still the top performing sector, financials, industrials, and, and technology with the NASDAQ hitting new record highs. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to see, too, right? Um, we've been talking about rotation all year long into value, into growth, one or the other. So today you're seeing a little bit of both. And, and that kind of speaks, Sarah, to the barbell strategy that we've been talking about for a long time. You want to have some of the economically sensitive companies. You want to have some of the secular growth. Today we got it in spades, right? Com services is up almost a percentage point. Materials and, and industrials benefiting from the infrastructure package. Um, obviously financials ahead of CCAR. But even healthcare, which has been really frustrating, that's even catching a bid thanks to the Lilly news today. So I think the other reason we're, we're kind of rallying is, is really because of this infrastructure package. It's very good. It's bipartisan, number one. And we need it, by the way, as well. But I think there's a multiplier effect in industrial in the industrial economy uh, in manufacturing. For every one job created in manufacturing, 7.7 .7 jobs are created around it. So this is going to help the job market as well. And so that, I think, is very encouraging. So what do we got? We got stimulus galore, right? We've got good economic growth. We've got a little bit of inflation. And we have a 10-year still below 150. That is, to me, a, a recipe for risk on, risk on assets, and that's equities. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.